What's on guys, welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be following on from one of the tutorials that I did a couple of weeks ago on the ledge and we're going to be we're going to be doing half cab no slides. What he said. In order to learn this trick, there's at least three that you want to get the hang of before going for it. Two of which we've already done tutorials on, and those are fakie nose grinds and backside nose slides. And the third one is the half cap, the fakie 180. A half cab nose slide, clues in the name, it's a half cab with a nose slide. So that means for the approach, you're going to be coming towards the ledge with your back foot on the tail and going backwards. And you're going to come in towards it, you're going to pop that half cab, turn 90 degrees until you get that nose locked in on the ledge, slide along it, and then you're going to finish by coming off that another 90 degrees and landing going forward. A bit faster than this though. When you learn this one, the best thing about it is that you can do it really slowly to begin with and it makes it a nice trick because you can get the hang of it at a slower speed and then add the speed when you want to do it a bit better. So hitting it at that sort of speed is a really good way of starting to get used to that lock-in before you try and hit it full speed. But the first thing you want to think about with the approach is coming in at a good angle. So similar to the fakie nose grind, you don't want to come in too straight, parallel to the ledge, and you don't want to come in at too much angle. You want to come in about halfway like this. And this is going to allow you to pop the, the half cab you need and turn your board and get it on the ledge. If you came in too straight, the chances are you're going to miss the nose slide and go up on top. And if you come in at too much angle, it's going to be very hard to turn all the way around and lock in and still slide forward. So the approach is very important for this one. You want to come at this sort of angle so that it works nice and easy. So that's the approach, that's getting onto the ledge and remember when you're popping this one you want to think about turning your shoulders around so that you get that half cab but don't turn them too much because you only want to turn 90 degrees to get into that nose slide. So assuming that you've got that half cab into the nose slide, that's the first step of the trick done. Once you're in it, it's really important to think about keeping all of your weight on your front foot so that you can get that decent nose slide to go all the way across the ledge. If you only half cab in and you keep your weight down on the back foot, you're probably not going to make it. You're going to fall out of it straight away or you're only going to get into it at this sort of angle and that's not a nose slide. Nose slide is when you're right up here. So make sure you keep all your weight on your front foot so you can slide it as good as possible. We've already talked a bit about turning those shoulders enough that you can turn up onto the ledge. Because you're going to be turning into it, your shoulders are already naturally going to carry on that rotation to allow you to come out of it at the end. But it's important you allow that to happen, otherwise you might get into it, slide it, make it all the way to the end and then land completely sideways. And you don't want that, you want to land nice and straight so that you can ride away from it. So that means that throughout the whole trick, you're going to be turning your shoulders so that you can complete it. It's all about this upper body movement. If you try and do it without using your shoulders, it's not really going to work because you're going to end up all twisted. So we've already talked about getting into the trick, sliding along the ledge. The only thing left is landing it. So the best way to practice that is stand in nose slide like this, ready to go, and practice hopping out of it, just like this. The key is to turn 90 degrees, hop the board a little bit so it comes up instead of just falling out and trying to make sure you land going forward. 
If you practice that over and over again, stood still, then when you come to actually put it all together, you should already be used to the landing, so it will feel a little bit more natural. And just like the fakie nose grind tutorial, which we did a couple of weeks ago, the best way to approach this one, if it's a new trick for you, is just try and do this end little bit of the ledge to start with. And then if that works and you feel comfortable with it, you can start getting on earlier and earlier. And then eventually, you want to try and do it the whole ledge. So with this trick, it may look complicated because you're coming into it fakie, you're turning, you're sliding, there's a lot going on. But the truth is, it's easier than it looks. I personally learnt this trick a lot earlier than I did just the straight back nose slide. I find the nose slide a lot harder for some reason. So don't be put off if you struggle with the nose slide because you might find this one a little bit easier. But thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you learn this trick. Please let us know in the comments below if it did or if there's a trick you're struggling with, let us know. And don't, don't forget, forget to, to click subscribe and hit the little bell.